everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you a tour of the fantastic Niemen area of Chiang Mai. I'm going to be pointing out the location of a number of condo buildings here so you can orientate yourselves and know exactly where things are. We're not going in any condos today, we're just going to be looking at the outsides of them. So if you're thinking about moving to Chiang Mai or you just want to look around this area, then stay tuned. Lots to point out in this video, lots of condos to look at, lots of other fantastic things to look at as well. And I want to discuss why I like this part of Chiang Mai so, so much. I'm not going to be doing this in any particular order, but I firstly wanted to point out the Hillside 3 condominium, which is down Niemen Soy 8. This building holds a special place for me. We own a rental inside there, and yeah, I love that building. Now, at the foot of the Soy, we have Hillside 2, Hillside 3 over there, Hillside 2 here. So, if you're living here, you're going to have a bit more road noise. Now, if we continue further down Neiman Road, now don't get me wrong, I'm going to be heading back in this direction. Just want to point out the condos around here first. Now, I'm currently walking down Neiman Soy 12 to point out a building down in this direction. And I would say if you're living on this soy, you're still a very short walk away from the main thick of Neiman, but you're probably the most far away that you can be while still being in Neiman, if that makes sense. And give me a second to point out the awesome view of Deusser Tape. Look at that beautiful mountain view. And this condo that we want to point out is called the Ruhr Cam Tower and we can see the main Neiman Road down there. Opposite there, we've got a pretty fancy option as well. We've got the Kantari Hills Hotel and Service Departments. Now, this is a bit of a different style. It's gonna be more expensive to stay here, but yeah, beautiful place. Now, I've not been in here, and I've not been in the Ruhrkamp Tower either. I've tried to go in there, but as far as I'm aware, units in there are one of the cheapest around the Neiman area. So if you're looking for cheap, check out the Ruhrkamp Tower down Neiman Soy 12. Right at the foot of Neiman Soy 12, we have the 103 Condominium 2 as well. Another cheap option here in Neiman, probably on par with the Ruhrkamp Tower that I have just pointed out. You cannot beat this time of year in Chiang Mai, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, the air is so clean. Far cleaner than Bangkok at this time of year as well. So. One of those things you've got to bear in mind. <laughs> so back at the foot of Neiman Soy 12, we can see in this direction, there is not really much more going on. This is sort of the uh, the end of Neiman, as I would put it. Across the road, we have Neiman Soy 17. And yeah, I'm not gonna be heading down there, but I will be showing you down at Neiman Soy 15 over there. And down Neiman 15, the first one I want to point out is the Rawi Wari residence. We have a video on the channel about this beautiful units in here. This is a really nice building. They've got a pool as well and yeah, if you want something a bit fancy I'd recommend here. They've got a selection of different size units in that building and while the price is going to be higher than the likes of you know the hillside or the ones we looked at on Soy 12, it's still within a reasonable budget and it's a nice nicely layout condo so check out the video on the channel for that. A bit further down at Neiman Soy 15 we have the Bunyamas mansion which is here. Again this is an older style building. Units in here are going to be priced I think a little bit cheaper than Hillside 3 units. Look at that cabling! <laughs> Insane! Now I've personally never been in the Bunyamas mansion but I'm hoping to get in there and make a video at some point. So as I said at the start every condo that we've been in on this channel there will be links in the description so if you want to check out what the unit looks like and what the price is yeah click on that but there are some that we haven't been in of course so there won't be links to those <laughs> we also have the uh, the rock me burger bar which has a place on loikro road they've got one here just on the foot of neiman soy 15 and we're heading in this direction with a lot more condos to point out but I'm fancying a coffee at some point, I must admit. And from where we are, we can see the Hillside 3 in the distance. We're in the thick of Neiman now with all the beautiful restaurants, massage parlors, weed shops, and everything else that you could potentially want around here. Now, if I point you in that direction, we can just about make out the top of Katsuan Kiao, the closed down department store. But we have condos over in that direction as well, just off the Siri Mankalajan Road. But those are on the other side, and that's not technically Neiman, so we're not going to be looking at those condos. They seem to have removed the for sale sign from this land here. Has it been sold? What a place to have a piece of land that would be. Hello. There you go. <laughs> Not a nice person. Yeah, this piece of land here, they used to have for sale signs. So have it been sold? If it has, I could guarantee that's going to cost an absolute fortune. But land dreams are made of right there. <laughs> One of the things I love about Neiman is the old school traditional restaurants like this here. Then right next to it, we have a fancy Japanese style thing. So awesome place, Neiman. And opposite from here, we have this place here. <laughs> That's Swish, that is. I like the style of that. That's awesome. Never been in, but gonna have to try it at some point. Looks, looks pretty reasonable. 
really does. And I'm gonna be going for a coffee. Big shout out to Stefan for asking me to come and try something inside here. I'm gonna try and film it, but the music seems to be quite loud. So I'm gonna be doing lots of cuts in there. Anyway, I have got my Satan Laffey. Again, shout out to Stefan, really appreciate that. And yeah, if you guys wanna support the channel, buy me a coffee, it's in the, uh, in the description. If you want me to actually go and taste one of your favorite coffees, I'll be happy to do that. But please bear in mind, it could take me a couple of weeks in order to actually go and do that. So yeah, <laughs> one of those things. This is really nice coffee from someone who usually likes uh, cold coffee. So this is really nice, smooth, not bitter at all. Mm. Getting into coffee, never used to like it, but I'm getting into it. <laughs> not a bad coffee at all. Actually really like that. Going back for another one, definitely when I'm in Neiman. Now, come back up Soy 3 here at the moment. And if we look in that direction, we have the one Neiman is literally here and we can't see it, but Maya is just over there, the famous shopping center. And then we're gonna be crossing and going down that street there, which is Neiman, I think, Soy 2, but the sign is, <laughs> the sign you can't tell. I think it's Soy 2, guys, down in this direction here. I'm gonna be pointing out a condo and also a very, very affordable budget style room, which is just down here as well. So I'm gonna point that out to you. On a condo tour video, we actually came to one down here recently. So if you're interested in looking at this condo or the cheap one, now we do have videos on the channel for that. So you can see the Neiman Road down there. It's taken us literally two minutes to walk here and we have the luxury live at Neiman. We'll be in there and we have a condo video about this on the channel. So if you're interested in looking at what that looks like, yeah, we do have a video on the channel for that. And if we continue on down here, literally the building right next door, it just shows the types of contracts that you can get here in Thailand. If I flip the camera again, point out live at Neiman, gonna be renting around the you know, 15 to 20, up to 25,000 a month. You go next door here, and you can rent a small room. Okay, it's not gonna be as fancy, it's not gonna be as nice. 3,000 odd baht you could rent inside there. So you can still be in the thick of Neiman, the thick of the main part of Neiman, and have something for less than $100 a month. So I don't think you can potentially go wrong for that. Now, I didn't include this on its own video. I think it was on a living on a certain amount of money in Chiang Mai, Thailand video. So I will link to that. Uh, there's like a little snippet at the start. I think it was the $800 a month or the $700 a month video. I can't remember. But yeah, you can rent something for less than $100 even in the heart of Neiman. Aeroplane. So I've been trying to add a bit more personal touch to the channel recently, introduce my wife in some videos. So I want to show everything that Chiang Mai has to offer, like what I do on a daily basis, normal living, give you guys tips and tricks about living here. And also you don't get out of Chiang Mai. Now Neiman is one of those areas, you either love it or you hate it. And for me, I love it so much, I really do. I don't have any issue with seeing like other foreigners or other tourists about for me. I know some, some expats or some people tend to want it all to themselves. <laughs> I've never understood that. To me, I like seeing people here because that means they're enjoying Chiang Mai. And at the end of the day, that's what I like to see. So I love Neiman, I think it's a fantastic place. I don't live here myself, but if I was single, I would definitely consider it. The next soy along from soy two is soy sukasem here. So technically Neiman soy four potentially. If I flip the camera and give you a look down here. Got a couple of hotels. We've got this Moose Hotel here and another one down there. But there are a number of condos to point out down here. First condo that we get to when we walk up Soy Suk SM is the 103 Condo 3, just to our left here. Not been in this building either, I've tried, but been unsuccessful. So that's the first one that we see up from the road. How far? 100 odd meters maybe? Not too far at all. Right next to this condo, we have the unique condo at Neiman. Now we have made a video in this building, so I will link to that. Uh, in the description if you're interested in this place. This place is more expensive. You're going to be looking at around the 18, 20,000 baht a month range, but it's a beautiful building, great pool, great gym, and the rooms are you know, just that bit higher standard than certain places. Would definitely recommend this building. And completely unrelated, but imagine having a massive house on a huge piece of land right in the heart of Neiman. <laughs> Things dreams are made of, eh? <laughs> Always like to point stuff out like that. But no, something like this is usually generational here in, uh, in Thailand. 
because to afford something like that, you're talking about millions of dollars, so not cheap. Anyway, so that house, the house there that we just pointed out is in the middle of the Unique there, the one we pointed out, and we've got the Unique at Neiman 2 here as well. Now, I don't think this is as flashy as the first Unique condo, but it's still a nice one, something to consider. A building that I still need to get in there as well. Now, right next to the Neiman 2, you've got this old school Thai food place, absolutely awesome. And as we continue up Soi Sok Kat Sen, we have this apartment style building here. Again, these are going to be affordable units, I would guess. Around the 5,000 baht range, never been in, but that would be my, my guess. And a little bit further is a condo we have been in. Yep, this one right here, the Tree Boutique. We looked at a loft style condo in there and I thought the condo itself was fantastic. It looks like it's not being maintained to the level you would like it to be maintained. So that's just one point of that building. It's only small, there aren't many units in it. And that's something to bear in mind. And if I flip the camera for you guys here and zoom in, Again, that's the Hillside 3 building in the distance. Now, I always share my belief that Neiman is a good place for investment condos here in Chiang Mai. The main reason being that it's not that much land available. I mean, we see this little bit of raw land here to our right and here, but are they going to build condos on them? It comes to the point where, because we have the airport in the vicinity, they can't build condos over a certain height, which means that I don't think they can overdevelop Neiman, and that's an honest opinion of mine. That's why I think it's a good investment here. They can't overdevelop it. Like for example, we know Bangkok, fantastic city and all, but there's still so much land in certain areas where they can just build and build and build. And I believe Neiman, they can't actually build that much more. So that's a, a reason why I love it. And yeah. Yeah, <laughs> three-headed Chang here. Now, if you're into your nightlife and clubs and things, down here we have lots of fantastic clubs. Now, I haven't been in for probably eight years, so I assume they're still here. And we have a very famous one, Tawang Deng, over there, where you can have, go to concerts and things. Very, very popular, very famous. Now, which brings us to this Neiman Soi. Lots of fantastic condos down here that I want to point out to you guys, most of which we have included on the channel. And we can actually see a number of the condos in shot here. The first one I want to point out is to our left, the Nimana. This is you know, a very fancy condo. Looked at a room in here and it was beautiful. I could live there myself. The pool, the gym, all top notch. So this building I would definitely point out and recommend as being a fantastic place to live. If your budget is slightly higher than, you know, maybe 20, 25,000 a month range, I think, for this building here. And sorry to go on about it, but look at the mountains. This is why I love Chiang Mai. The fact that we can just get out into the mountains on the bike and live a completely different life than we do in the city right here. Awesome, awesome. Across the road from the Nimana, we have the Pune Residence 1 and 2. Done a few videos on the channel in here as well, so check those out. Again, similar price to the Nimana just across the road, but it's a bit of an older building. Perhaps not as fancy, but I would say that the pool is better in this one. I've walked past this place lots of times, the Chino at Chiang Mai Luxury Boutique Hotel. I always wanted to try it, it looks amazing. I just love the, uh, the facade of this place. Yeah, really beautiful place. Want to see what it's like in there. Any of you guys stayed there? Yeah, what's it like? Would like to know because just like the style. Reminds me of you know, French colonial style. That's prob probably way off on that, aren't they? Probably way off. Now, right at the foot of the soil, we have the Empire at Neiman. Never actually been in this condo, so that's another one I would like to look at. But it just looks you know, pretty decent, pretty nice place to live. Opposite from here, we have an apartment style building where you can get a cheap room. I guess five, six thousand probably for a room in here. Maybe, no, actually it could be a bit more. Never been in, so don't hold me to the price. But yeah, apartment style building. And this is the condo here, Empire at Neiman. And here we are at the foot of Soy 6. Now, I may have missed the condo in this video. I may have missed one. But I think we've looked at the vast majority of available condo buildings here in Neiman. Talking about Neiman itself, for me, I love this area. I know this seems to be some people have a love-hate relationship with this place. People either love it or hate it. I think some people find like it's too internationalized. It's too, you know, too hip, too trendy. But for me, I love the fact that we see people from lots of different countries intermingling. It really adds to the atmosphere uh, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, I really, I really, really like that type of thing. But anyway, that's Neiman and a look at most of the condos available for rent in this fantastic part of the city. Really appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.